Well, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Rim Shots with Sean. A special episode of Rim Shots with Sean because you're going to start to be seeing these quite a bit. Um, we're going to be doing some stuff with the Caribbean Ghost Country and Caribbean Ghost 80s. And uh, the very first one we're doing is somebody that was one of our very first uh, guys on Rim Shots Story Barstools and Band Talk Rim Shots with Sean, Mr. Maurice O'Quang. How are you, sir? Hey, how you doing? Good, Sean. On a wonderful, actually, it's a pretty almost a, a Cuban esque Caribbean hot I, Wednesday afternoon. I know. I was thinking about that before we went on. It's like this. It's, it's just like we're in Cuba now. Yeah. Uh, soon enough, though, because time's going to fly. I mean, it's April, but before you know it, it'll be here. So um, you've gone down there quite a few times. Uh, you you go to I think Costa Rica, and you've you've gone to Cuba. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. I I, I travel like a lot of people do. You try to get away once a year and all that. Uh, been to Costa Rica. That was kind of a musical week too. That was kind of fun. That was kind of a road kind of on our own thing. And then last year, of course, this event. So obviously, you know, uh, I was there the week after uh, you guys were, I was in a different part of the island, but uh, you know, the, the climate, obviously wonderful. The people wonderful, yeah. but people here who have never been don't understand what it's like down there. Right. Cause you're, it's a communist country. Um, the people there literally, when you say they have nothing, they have nothing. It's it's really hard unless you experience. Talk a little bit about that. Well, I mean, everybody has something. <laughs> I'll put it that way. But it's right. not a thing. Um, very little. And very little goes around. And it's it's hard to get stuff in there because, for example, a friend of my good friend of mine, he's in a shipping company. Like uh, he runs, you know, a trucking shipping company. And he says. Uh, you know, but one tenth of what should be going in there in containers gets in there, and it takes so long because it has to go through so many different channels to get in. And it's, it's everything about getting stuff to Cuba is difficult. So, you know, when we all go down, we take our luggage down. We you know we have crayons and the coloring books and you know pantyhose for the you know for the maids and all that. But it's it's way beyond that. It, it, it's bigger than that. There's whole towns down there that basically there's hardly anything in the stores. Because they're not in the direct line of the tourists, for example. You know what I mean? Like the big tourist centers, well, they'll, they'll definitely have more stuff. But even then, you know, uh, you don't have to go very deep into it. Like we went into a clinic. Uh, Randy, my buddy, was down there. And he uh, kind of cut his hand a little bit on a on a, 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 a bottle top or something. And it wasn't even rum. I don't know. Anyway, but he couldn't get a Band-Aid. Right. Could not find a Band-Aid in, in town. So... What I'm saying is that those, those are the things that you, you, we take for granted here, right? You know, um, there's restaurants in the in the in the town that are uh, you can get great meals. It's not like you can't find stuff, but it's just you can see it, you can feel it, you can see it that they don't have enough of anything anywhere, and the, and the, you have to kind of uh, get in and get it in there on a personal level, like you bring, basically bring it in like that. Like you you, you just can't state sponsor events. It's, you can, but what happens is that the help that you're looking to, to do isn't going, won't go where you specifically want it to go. It's where they'll dictate it goes. Sean's uh, quite involved with the, with the province of Hoagie. And he te- you know, quit the ba- with the baseball and everything. That, and, you know, he's got family there now. And, 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 and he, knows, he knows where where it really needs to go. So he, that's why he rallies us around to do what we do. Yeah, so I mean, you know, and, and uh, the event from what I saw looked, you know, super fun. It's at a new resort this year, uh, you know, but it, you know, I guess the big thing is you need people to to go. You need people to take the event in. Uh, I think he's got room for about eight hundred people this year, which you know yeah. should be a lark, man, with a lot of good music and a lot of fun. You should be able to sell eight hundred tickets. Yeah, it was five hundred last year. Yeah. Yeah, and it was great. Uh, this new place is a fair, it's a more up at the resort is actually I think it's a hot, kept more stars star higher star rating, um, but that's only a second. I mean, they're all all the resorts are fun when you get a bunch of East Coasters down there. Uh, it becomes a priority very very quickly. A very, you know you know there's there's very oh yeah nothing goes nothing goes as planned. I'll tell you right now, there'll be misorganization and there'll be people squawking about and all that. But as soon as you get five hundred East Coast Maritimers down there. Uh, we figure that out on the fly. Never have a problem. And it's great. Yeah. I think that's important, though, that what you just said, you know, there will be hiccups because, I mean, oh, big picture, there's, there's hiccups in everything, right? But, I mean, big picture, if you keep your eyes on on what it's all, I mean, it's it's supposed to be a good time. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be for music. It's supposed to be all that. But at the end of the day, it's, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're looking to get 
some some stuff down there that's badly needed. So if you keep that in mind, country, hiccups or whatever, right? It's a communist country and nothing goes easy there. Not even something you try to help down there. You're, you're down there helping these people, right? But there's there's communist bureaucracy that gets in the way of a lot of the stuff. It makes it for difficult, just even for transportation, you know, everything, just getting around. Like there's so much contingency that we, that, that we take for granted here. But down there, you almost have to go rogue. You really do. Right. And, and you really got to know what you're doing because you don't want to, you know, you're a visitor down there. I mean, you know, like Dennis, you know, he's very much an integral part of the fundraising efforts, but he's still a visitor. And so I'm sure he's under a little different scrutiny than the locals, right? And he's just trying to help. But at least he knows the inroads to get it done. Okay, so uh, you weren't on the country one, but the country one's in February. The, the Car- uh, Caribbean goes 80s is in April. Um, if you were to give the, say, 10-second elevator pitch to somebody that's thinking about, hey, maybe I should buy tickets, what would you say to them? Oh, my God. First of all, it's nonstop music. The, the party the party atmosphere is great. Um, just have, have a great time. with, And uh, you're going to be hearing songs that you've always heard growing up, and it's just going to be weird hearing them in Cuba and hanging out with your friends, listening to the bands. Like, I mean, you guys are going to knock it out of the park with your band, uh, myself down there is great uh cp it, it's just it's a bizarre it's a bizarre experience and uh it's a blast you'll have a great time there's no question it's a great time and uh and it's affordable i mean it's like an extra i mean you put a surcharge of about 100 150 bucks in your ticket and you get entertainment for the entire week you know that you, and and you're doing it for good cause too right so you know what and thank you for saying that because i would love for you to give the pitch but there was a post the other day um you know, somebody was complaining about uh, ticket prices and somebody else said, well, you know, you'll spend 80, 90 bucks to go to a hockey game downtown Halifax, but you won't spend 10 bucks to go to a club. But it's $15 well, you just, to see any band downtown Halifax night for a cover charge. Right. Like seven nights of it and probably twice a day. So there you go. So, I mean, really, if you break that down, you're talking maybe four bucks a <laughs> oh, whatever. Yeah, I mean, you can't get right. entertainment for free. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it's, you know, yeah. I mean, like, we have, I'm not that you can't. But the whole point of it is that that's part of the draw to get people down there to put all this together to, to raise, uh, to raise uh, you know, the goods and stuff that we're bringing down there. Um, you know, music is obviously the, uh, the, uh, the, the connective tissue to all of this. That's why he's got such a diverse uh, array of entertainment. And it's a great, great, and uh, it's a great list of bands. Just You can just see the site. I mean, everybody's on it, but. The cool thing about it is that he learned from the first year uh, things we made. Like, it is nice to have a big name on. You know what I mean? Yep. But when it comes down to it, the yeah, you had to be there last year. You know what I mean? Everybody just stepped up. You know, uh, we had a hard time getting the big names in there. There was it was it was definitely uh, it was uh, it was frustrating because you're dealing with Cuba again. Uh, a lot yep. of it was contingency, and uh, but so we went down with what we had. It couldn't have come out any better. So what he's kind of doing more of a house, a house band sort of setup, or you know, a core group of musicians. So he, whoever comes down there, it makes it a, a much more um, practical way of providing, of, of giving the entertainment for the whole week without having people come down with like fifteen guitars and all this stuff. Right. And spend more of it on the actual event, which is bringing down, you know, goods and stuff. For the uh, for the people for the pe- for the people that we're raising that we're raising it for, um, it, it it's a great idea. And like for example, you get a band down there, and those guys are doing. Now they can't get them into. And it, it's still a vacation for the musicians, but it's also that's our it's our duty, right? Yeah. And uh, and I can't think of a better way to spend a week playing a gig and doing it in Cuba. Well, that's the thing. And that's smiles on their faces. And it's that time of year where it's not crazy hot there because it's kind of get ramping up for that. So that's great. We never kind of missed it. Rain last year. There was no rain, not one day. You know, I, I, when I was there, there was about twenty four seconds of rain. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's that's about it, man. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. But, and the people are um, nice. we all know what the people of Cuba are nice. You know, give the shirt off. They give you the shirt off their back if they had an extra one. You know. 100%. Sometimes even if they don't have an extra one. Yeah. Um, and I, I'll say this too, that between now and when both of those events start, there's going to be events that are going to take place to help raise funds for different things. Oh, yeah. Keep an eye keep for that. The the ground on that. Yeah. Watch, watch the socials on that. Yeah, for sure. It will be happening. Uh, yeah. Maurice, man, I want to thank you for doing this. You were uh, number 
number one in yeah, uh, in the list the of the first guy. Uh, no, he's a guinea pig. Well, hey, and uh, you know, unlike four years ago, where uh, we did we wouldn't know if we could get connection. Now we know what we're kind of doing, so it all works out. So uh, thank yeah, you, sir. Not. Yeah, it's all good. All right, peace, my friend. All right, guys, we'll see you in Cuba in 2025. Woohoo!